It's the fifth time the Arms Park has played host to the Welsh Cup final, and Cardiff City are becoming regulars here. Victory today, and they'd complete a hat-trick to stand alone as the most successful club in the competition's 117 years. For much of the past month, there's been standing room only in the Cardiff City treatment room, but gradually most of the injuries have cleared, and the return to the side of Captain Jason Perry and the influential pair of Mark Azelwood and Kevin Brock gives the side real backbone. Only four of this starting lineup played in both the previous finals, which goes to underline the transient nature of the game. Barry Town are also much changed since their one year in exile in Worcester. Since returning to Welsh football, they've hardly lost a match. Player manager Andy Beattie has put together quite some squad at non-league level with the emphasis on experience. There are players who've seen it and done it at the very top level and one or two who can hardly believe they've made it to a cup final in the twilight of their careers. Among them, the Englishman Keith Birchkin. He played first division football with Ipswich, Birmingham and Norwich and even at 37 years of age was quite a capture for Barry earlier this year. Terry Boyle's confrontation with this man, Cardiff striker Phil Stant, promises to be a classic. They're two wily campaigners. Stant, who scored a hat-trick in last year's final against Real, says this will be tougher. And what an unexpected bonus this is for Alan Curtis, now aged 40, whose career with Wales spanned an era when international games were not played here, so it's an arms park first for him. It's familiar territory, though, for Cardiff captain Jason Perry. He was part of those triumphs in 92 and 93, and it would be a major upset if he was not the man collecting the cup at the end of the 90 minutes. And for this South Wales skirmish, we have a referee from the north, John Lloyd from Wrexham. So it's the Abacus League champions, Barry Town, who get us underway against the cup holders. The climactic conditions here at the Arms Park, very different to those experienced at Wembley 24 hours ago. And I'm sure Cardiff City would certainly settle for a repeat of that 4-0 scoreline for Manchester United, though they admit this is going to be a tough game and they won't underestimate the Barry Town challenge. Birchkin and the referee getting involved early on. Kevin Brock frees Wayne Faraday. Faraday playing right fullback for Cardiff. Miller wins that one, and this is Phil Stance. Rock. Damon Searle. Cohen Griffith turns it on for Searle to chase. But that's away by Ashley Griffiths. The long-serving Ashley Griffiths. Ten seasons he's been with Barry Town. An occasion for him to save her. Searles throw in, turned on by Miller, and away again by Griffiths. Some early thoughts from the Welsh team manager, Mike Smith. Well, this is a big game for both clubs. Cardiff City have done so well this season to pull out of the relegation zone. They've lost a couple of games, they've got to come into this one. For Barry, as has been said, very vital that they play well and hold out and don't give away a goal early in the game. A good early clearance with the head from Terry Boyle above Gary Thompson. And the offside flag was up back in the 
Barrytown half of the field. And this will be a free kick to the, the underdogs who won the Abacus League by a 21-point margin and will be playing in the Conacher League of Wales next season. Steve Morris, who had a spell on the staff at Ninian Park, will take the free kick for Barry. Away by Hazelwood. On by Doria. Perry was underneath that one. And Faraday with a steady ball for Nick Richardson, who can't quite control it in the shadow. Doria runs straight into Kevin Brock. Stant helps out, and Richardson tries to send Thompson on his way. Well covered by Ashley Griffiths. And that will be a throw in to Barry Town to the consternation of the very experienced Gary Thompson, played in a FA Cup semi-final for Sheffield Wednesday in this his first experience of the Welsh Cup. This is Birchkin now for Barry Town, and the first shot towards goal comes from Barry, but that's easily gathered by Steve Williams, the teenage goalkeeper for Cardiff City. No, they've settled down very well, have Barry. They are passing the ball sensibly. That's the, when you get to their ripe old ages, you, you, that's the whole secret, is to keep the ball and not give it away. But they've had the first shot, first blood goes to them. Perry. And he uses his goalkeeper, Williams, preferred to the more experienced Phil Kite. Williams certainly won for the future for Cardiff City. And for Wales. Hazelwood. Griffiths is providing the width on the far left-hand side for Cardiff, but that's away by Williams for Barry. Space now for Nicky Richardson on the Cardiff City right. He's beyond Doria. He has Stant in the centre, who's making a run towards the near post, but it's cleared away, but the flag is up on this near side. Yes, it's a free kick. It took a little bit of a time there to get the cross in, and uh, the lunging tackle brought him down. These are situations in which Cardiff, over the season, ha are very well organised. And it's maybe from one of these that... Kevin Brock, and that's easy enough for Steve Morris. Not quite the delivery he was looking for on that one. And the ball is swept downfield now by Phil Williams. And Azelwood's first touch there caused a moment or two of panic I would have thought amongst the Cardiff City supporters it wasn't too sure-footed but he gets away with it really beautiful conditions for this game Birchkin away by Perry though and this is Andy Beatty who pulls the strings in the heart of the midfield for Barry Town, but he's dispossessed. Brock finds Faraday, who loves to come spurting over halfway like this. Swansea City will remember him from the second leg of the semi-final. And the flag is up, and that's an offside decision against Cardiff City. Gary Thompson, who's played much of the last month of the season in central defence, now in his more recognised role up front. In fact, in the match with Swansea, the goal scored by Faraday was absolutely magnificent. And on the run there, one would have thought that there was always a chance that he might unleash a similar shot. Towering header away by Jason Perry. Boyle finds the right fullback, David Huff. Birchkin can't control it. In there quickly is Paul Miller, who's having an excellent finish to the season for Cardiff. Huff again, though, for Barry. Hazelwood's header only falls for Wimpleton. But Perry tidies up. Miller. Neat play by Barry. And Terry Boyle sends Birchkin on the chase. I'm sure one or two of these older 
members of the Barry side. There are quite a few of them won't relish the sunshine. Well, no, as I said before, you've got to keep... You, you, play, you can play in the channels, but you've got to play to give people the opportunity to get hold of the ball easily, rather than balls that are hit like that, that are, are, are no-hopers. But as long as they keep their game and keep passing, they've settled down quite well, and they, they smother the, the Cardiff attacks at the moment and passing the ball quite well. Hazelwood gets it away. Certainly warm work down there. It's not only warm, the grass is long, uh, and, and, and that is going to be a tiring factor as the game goes on. Of course, it's only eight days ago that Cardiff Rugby Club were carrying off the Swalek Cup on this very ground. The Cardiff City aiming to make it a capital city double. Boyle. Time for Steve Williams to collect his thoughts. Hazelwood finds Damon Searle. Stant has come deep to pick up possession. Rock. Faraday has Richardson wide on the near side. Instead, it's through the centre for Stant. Faraday again, but that's always swinging wide. But Faraday looking adventurous. Again, good movement by Faraday to attack the space in front of the Barry back four, running so smoothly with the ball, following it through, and then the ball just flicked back into his path. He's, he snapped at the ball. In those situations, if only the ball just fed in nicely, the shot then can be hit sweet. Cohen Griffith, who scored two goals in the final last year, getting involved out there but it's Alan Curtis getting his first real touch of the ball in this 1994 Welsh Cup final and he wins a free kick the foul committed by Miller on Alan Curtis who's won the cup with Swansea and Cardiff can he do it with Barry Town that's on well by Birchkin but nobody there for Barry and Federday will carry it away Kevin Brock Stamped against Boyle, and Boyle just letting Stamp know that he's around. Free kick already taken. Cohen Griffith against Huff. And Griffith has he overrun it? No, it holds up well, and that is just played wide of his own near post by Terry Boyle, who apologises to his fellow defenders. That was a moment of great danger for Barry Town as Cohen Griffith cut through. It was a marvellous ball pulled back. Um, and Terry Boyle really in desperation just got it, got a foot to it to, to get it away. Tremendous run there by, by Cohen Griffith. It's Brock's corner towards Gary Thompson with a back header, and that is put aside by David Hutt. And the referee has decided that will be a goal kick despite the linesman who was flagging for a corner. I think the ball had floated behind before Huff got a touch with his head. On by Lilla Green, but Hazelwood uses Cohen Griffith, who's seeing a fair amount of the ball, and he uses Stamped. Stamped has three in the centre. But it's behind all three of them for Doria. Lily Green. BT. Nice first touch by the player manager, Wimpleton. BT. And Alan Curtis. A lot of experience in that particular triangle. BT again. The run is from Doria, who's onside. And this is Lily Green closing in on the goalkeeper. The header down from Dorian, not quite precise enough, or else that could have been big trouble for Cardiff City, who were looking in vain for an offside flag, which never came. Boyle will get this one away now for Barry. 
that was a magnificent crossfield pass but it was a very poor header you've got to keep the ball away from the keeper if it had just been even caught on his chest or just put back square then then you've got half a chance to keep the keeper is then stranded but a magnificent crossfield part pass uh, by bt certainly a warning has been posted for cardiff city a stance finds richardson needs support it's there from faraday good smooth running again by faraday and it's well blocked by phil williams corner for cardiff that was very well defended uh, phil williams didn't go with the dummy and kept his shape and uh, at the end faraday couldn't get past him good defending but again a corner again danger for barry town and the late run at the back post was by jason perry it didn't reach him well taken by steve morris the cardiff captain who scored one goal so far this season likes to come up for the set pieces but here the goalkeeper did well stretching and claiming Lilla Green needs support wide near side. There's nobody here, so he transfers it across the other way. BT. Up. And he gives that straight to Cohen Griffith, who gives Gary Thompson too much to do, I would have thought, against Ashley Griffiths, who gets it back to his goalkeeper. No width for Barry a few moments ago. They needed support on the left-hand side but it wasn't there the push was by Hazelwood on Birchkin and again a chance for Barry to push men forward Hazelwood lets it run and Williams is there Barry can be encouraged with the start they've made, subduing these Cardiff City followers. Wimbledon, Alan Curtis. And that is a Cardiff City ball. The game is really, really very even, but it always looks when Cardiff get good possession that they have more options and they look more likely to score a goal. This is Damon Sill now then, over halfway for Cardiff City. Looking for Thompson and Stance. Boyle steps in between the pair of them. And that's Paul Miller crashing to earth. Pressurised by Paul Wimbledon and Kevin Brock is rather desperate to take the free kick and it has been taken. Faraday, Brock, Stamps. Now can he turn? This is where he's dangerous. Forced wide by Williams and by Ashley Griffiths. That again was well defended by Barry Town against the threat of Phil Stamps who has a tremendous scoring record in the Welsh Cup competition. Curtis, Wimpleton, Birchkin, BT, acres of space near side for Phil Williams, but the ball was a very poor one indeed. Stamp lets it run rather lazily because BT was onto it. And luckily for Cardiff, Featherday read the situation well. So, Griffith. Tackle from Alan Curtis. Griffith stamped. Miller, he can strike them. Well, it was on his favoured left foot, but it was slightly caught up underneath his feet and not really the proper contact there from Paul Miller. No, there was no need to shoot from there. It wasn't a ball that was served back properly.
but as they say if you don't shoot you don't score so you've got to you always encourage players to shoot next time he'll do better one of the great problems that Barry have found is that they can't actually run past the Cardiff defenders they, there's no one that can actually beat someone on the run whereas Cardiff have got one or two that can do that and that might be a feature of the game as the duel settled down to unlock defences yeah, Salem Curtis did joke he'd be operating 10 yards either side of halfway. Yes, I think that um, their touch and their passing and their setups are super, but it's th the next ball has got to go in or someone's got to actually beat somebody. Damon Searle. Through the centre for Gary Thompson, who controls it well. Rock. Griffith wide on the far side again. Instead, it's threaded for Phil Stant. Threaded too firmly, though, and a goal kick for Barry Town. And that's the hangdog look of Phil Stant. But it looks like that even after he scored a hat trick. Uh, he's an outstanding player. He is always one that um, he will. He's looking to find ways of unlocking. He went, he moved wide. He pulled wide. He wanted to something slightly different on the pass. It was just a little bit overhit but he's thinking constantly in anything in the, the box and around the box he is top man Lilla Green well, Curtis was making the run on the far side he wasn't picked out now he does touch it on that was cool play by Alan Curtis under pressure Great career Alan Curtis had with Swansea, of course, mainly, but also Leeds and Cardiff City in latter years. And now with Barry Town and still very cultured on the ball. Hazelwood rises well. Again, it's Hazelwood, pumped into space. Thompson decides to chase. It doesn't run into the box for Morris, so he's forced to clear with his foot. And a throw in to Cardiff City. We've played nearly 20 minutes in the 1994 Welsh Cup final. It remains nil-nil. Faraday. Richardson slips it beyond Williams and is brought down and Phil Stant I think is a little aggrieved that the advantage rule wasn't applied there but Richardson will need some treatment and frustration for Phil Stant. It, it, was, a, it was a clutter of a challenge uh, and, it, and it's caught him on the, on the turn. It's one of these difficult things. Richardson's a, a clever, quick-footed player and just as he was caught that time he would have loved to have just to touch the ball to the side of that lunging tackle and then he would have been away Phil Stamp wanted the game to go on he didn't want people to be uh, having treatment because he was in the clear Eddie May and Wayne Faraday agreeing perhaps on tactics but Eddie Mays the man in charge so Richardson has recovered and the free kick will be taken by Wayne Faraday for Cardiff City Rock's ball in Stance Acrobatic attempt there from Phil Stamp, didn't quite come off though, and it's cleared away by Williams for Lily Green to chase against Damon Searle, who's come right across towards the right-hand side, and he fends off the Barry attacker well. Hazelwood's long ball picks out Stant, the header down finds Griffith, who's swapped over towards the right-hand side, Richardson has space, 
Will it for Stand or Richardson? No, it won't. BT tries to stay calm. Good play by the player manager. And away by Morris out of harm's way. Good surging football by Cardiff City. The ball never ran smoothly in the box for them, but it was a tremendous opportunity. The crowd's roar, it, they rose with it. Oil away from the boot of the flying Phil Stance. This is Wimbledon for Barry. Runs straight into the abrasive Hazelwood. On by Huff. And by Birchkin. But Steve Williams has time on his side. Everything at the moment that Barry throw forward is flicked on by Birchin or Lilligree. But that's easy for the Cardiff defenders because they're picking them up fairly comfortably at the moment. Damon Searle supporting. Away by Griffiths, only as far as Gary Thompson. And Searle has to stretch and he can't keep it in play. That was an awful pass. And I guess by Gary Thompson, then he starts to moan at, at Damon Searle. I mean, that's... Uh... The ball forward by Alan Curtis, but Williams is there first, the Cardiff City goalkeeper. Thompson flips it on towards Stant. Lovely turn by Stant, is he in here? Fine challenge by Huff. The Barrytown right fullback closing down stand expertly. And just for a moment, it looked as though it was opening up there for the Cardiff City centre forward. A lovely little touch with his heel. If he hadn't have slipped, he would certainly have scored. Um, but as I said, his awareness of where he is and where the goal is, is, is phenomenal. Miller's corner. And this is Brock. And he got right underneath that one. Dangerous moments these for Barry. As it's played out, um, he's coming in, coming in on the wall, nice first touch, uh, and he's, he's hit at the ball a little bit early, the ball's too high, it hasn't come down for him. Defending Stantley for Barry. BT. Huff continues the run. That's a long ball for Wimbledon, led by Curtis. Lily Green was inside him. But Damon Searle is playing well in the opening stages for Cardiff, and that's an expert ball for Kevin Brock to hurry on to. And this is Richardson. Thompson and Stant, back edge of the penalty area. Stant has pulled away. Thompson remained in the centre, he's closed down by Boyle, but this is Paul Miller, picking up the pieces. Floated for Stant, behind the defender, good header by Stant. But the angle really beat him, and the goalkeeper was able to gather it without too many problems, but sustained play there from Cardiff City, all set up by Damon Searle, and ending with Stant heading at the goalkeeper. There was a good ball, played in behind the defence, but all the other Cardiff players were watching it. As it was, it went into the goalkeeper's hands. Perry under pressure and Cohen Griffith a little late to react and he's hauled to the ground by Alan Curtis and the Cardiff City free kick Cohen Griffith who's been with Cardiff five seasons now Faraday a relative newcomer and Brock who's on loan from Newcastle still Richardson Thompson, and Miller has space. We thought about the shot perhaps, instead it's more intelligently wide for Griffith. Support outside him from Searle, who was making the run, but he wasn't seen. Still Griffith, runs into trouble. Wimpleton, Alan 
Curtis fell there as he attempted to run on to the return ball. And BT finds Birchkin fending off Hazelwood. Huff, BT, line deep, the player manager. Barry not threatening at the moment. And Cardiff City snapping into their challenges like that with Jason Perry. This is Rock. Miller. And the foul on Brock is penalised and it looks as though Andy Beatty is going to be shown the yellow card by John Lloyd. First booking of the game in the 28 minutes. And it's the player manager. He's just pushed the ball away from Beatty and Beatty's come in so late and he's certainly whacked him how he can possibly protest at that booking I don't know Hazelwood will deliver the ball in from the free kick for Cardiff looking for Gary Thompson who rises above Terry Boyle but Boyle did enough so goalless Cardiff City getting on top. Lily Green, good running by Doria through the centre. Well, if his first touch had been better, there was a real opportunity there for the former Swansea City man, David Doria. But really, it ran away from him at the vital moment. He took it well, the first one. It was just a, a, a tremendous challenge by Damon Searle to prevent him scoring. Good little opportunity. Hazelwood. Boyle. Beatty. Williams. Wimbledon down the channel. Covered well by Paul Miller. But a poor clearance. Birchkin. And that slices away off his right foot. As Jason Perry made the desperate challenge. And words being exchanged between the Cardiff City players. Because Paul Miller won't like to see this replay it really was a desperately poor clearance right down the center and straight at Birchkin he had plenty of time it's a poor shot uh, in fact the reason that he missed I think is because of the speed and the distance that Jason Perry covered in order to put a challenge in Doria Brock makes the challenge and through the legs of BT. This is Brock. He has Griffith free on the far side. Instead, it's Stats, who's crowded out four of them around Stats. And Griffith, for an instant there, was unmarked on the left edge of the penalty area. Had the ball been transferred the other way, Griffith would have been through. As it was, Stance had far too much to contemplate. And look at this space now for Williams, for Barry. Will surely clear the crossbar. Goal kick. Yes, that was that was a very poor cross at the end of the day because they were lined up and they were in strength there for a better quality cross. It's all about quality. It's all about that last ball. If you were wanting to score a goal in, pre in previous Cardiff uh, attack, the ball had been played into stance early, and that's what it's about. It's getting the ball into the man, into his feet, into the penalty area. And that's closed down by Jason Perry. He gets it away. Joey Griffith will clear that one. But Huff keeps it in play for Barry. Dory is underneath it, and Lily Green. BT. Williams. And a good call by Steve Williams. Gary 
Thompson away from Terry Boyle. He has stands only inside the penalty area. And he just about finds him. It just eludes, in fact, Phil Stance. And it's Griffith tangling on the far side with Curtis. And the decision goes to Cardiff City. It's their throw in. Miller with the throw. A long one, and Stance latches onto it. Well, that was unexpected. There's a crowd of players going for the ball. They all missed it, and there was Stance who had an opportunity to open the scoring. The first ball, the first uh, challenge was was uh, was a foul, and then it's fallen to Stance. And, and anywhere in the box, he gets that little touch that uh, that might get a goal. Probably the closest they've been to scoring. but it falls for Lily Green and that won't test the goalkeeper but Barry are forging openings certainly you wouldn't rule out a goal for Barry Town Cardiff who kept a clean sheet in both their previous cup finals here in the last two seasons 1-0 against Hensford and 5-0 against Rill and this is Gary Thompson for them now good tackle by Boyle then very experienced in the way in which he doesn't uh, he doesn't hurry doesn't dive in just stands up in front stop the Faraday running at Doria the ball is delivered well for Stance and again the spectacular doesn't quite come off for the Cardiff City striker who scored 40 goals in just a season and a half with the Ninian Park Club so obviously he's exuding confidence and that's why he was prepared to take that on Faraday in towards Griffith who poked it first time probably the right option because he was under pressure from Terry Boyle but well, a couple of yards wide of the near post but intelligent play by Faraday it was a lovely early cross played in behind the defence if you see the ball coming in very difficult Cohen, Cohen Griffiths really should have done a little bit better the ball was so well played in it needs a better finish than that Wood was being tugged by Keith Birchin, so this will be a free kick to Cardiff. Damon Sill, Stant. Nice layoff for Brock. Brock against BT. Brock's ball in, and it should be a goal. Oh my word! Stamps and Thompson between them have contrived to create one of the misses of the season. I'm sure Thompson expected Stamps to put it in, but then when it reached Thompson, the net was gaping. Yes, a very good layoff by Stamps. Uh, absolutely super ball across by Brock. Absolutely little twist whacked in very lazy footed there he was it, but whether he was hoping somebody else was going to put it in but he certainly his body wasn't in the right place he never even thought it might happen to him yes you'd have put big money on a goal there for Cardiff City now then a clash as the ball was cleared it was Thompson on Williams and Williams on Thompson and the referee John Lloyd is taking a dim view of what he just saw. And there could be problems here for Phil Williams, the Barrytown left fullback. Well, in this situation, he could be sent off. Uh, blows have been struck. And that's a soft option, I feel, to only to give a yellow card. But it's certainly... It would have ruined the game if, if a player on the Barry side had been sent off. 
it was a little bit silly the, the tackle was made Williams has got the ball there's a diving tackle and he's not really I mean he's doing all the trampling well that really has ignited the atmosphere here at the Arms Park Cohen Griffith So, Rock and Morris gets there ahead of Phil Stant, and that was a clumsy challenge by Stant, although I suppose in the heat of the moment he was required to challenge for the ball there as it dropped towards the goalkeeper. But it will be a free kick. Yes, when the balls come in, it is obviously a goalkeeper's ball, and it was a silly jump. There's no chance uh, to get the ball before the goalkeeper had caught it. And it's all resolved very quickly. That was good play, good professional play. Get up, shake hands, get out, get on with the game. Eight minutes left in the first half. Still scoreless in the 94 Welsh Cup final as Gretchen has it for Barry. Alan Curtis, nice ball in and away by Faraday from the foot of David Doria again. Little glimpses of the quality which Alan Curtis still possesses at the age of 40. Yes, it, it was a superb cross. The ball's been held up by Birchin, and Alan Curtis has just come in, and really, there should have been a better attempt. You've got to suss this out early. Doria. Williams. Doria is onside, and the cross is straight at Steve Williams. clearance for Barry only as far as Damon Searle who decides to take the ball forward and finds Stance Curtis gets it back to Morris Lillegreen that's good play through the centre goes Birchin can he find it this is Keith Birchin first time shot and this could be a goal and it's there from David Doria What a turn up for the books. Steve Williams couldn't hold a fiercely driven drive by Keith Birchin and Barry Town lead 1-0 thanks to David Doria snapping up the rebound and firing the loose ball beyond Williams into the back of the Cardiff City net. And five minutes before half-time, the holders are down against the Abacus League champions. And do we have an upset on the cards, perhaps? What a good game. What a good goal this was. A good run by Birchin and he hit it on the run, he hit it early a little bit of a mistake there by Steve Williams really because he should have held the ball but Doria was the fastest the person to react to the whole situation well Bertrand is offside this time but it really was a, a splendid goal not from the goalkeeper's viewpoint though he had to hold that one because Doria was closing in all the time and he took it well certainly looking the sharper of the two sides the most likely Gary Thompson missed that open goal and now they've been punished Damon Searle in towards Thompson with a downward header and it slices wide off his head the goal against the flow of the game but not entirely unexpected well it, it was it was a superb early shot by Birchin that that was the key to it because if he'd have held Hazelwood was closing down very rapidly and it's a uh, little touch, he's held the ball up, Jason Perry's in touch with him, and as Azelwood comes across, the ball's hit past him, and that may have been, uh, it may have surprised Steve Williams a little bit, that the ball has gone so far past him, because Steve Azelwood was, was closing down on the, and cutting out that angle. But it, it's fantastic. 
now Cardiff have got it all to do. And although, although they've had, they've looked aside most likely to score, they haven't really, they've, they've not looked sharp in front of goal today. Now they've really got to do something. Get a bit of quality. Get something set up well. David Huff for Barry Town. Birchkin with a flick on for Lilligreen to latch on to. Will it open up for Lilligreen all the way? And again he tests Steve Williams. Well, Barry Town are getting their shots in on target. A little bit here that the defenders are backing off. They're allowing people to dwell on the ball. Jason's too far away from him there. He's got to close down and then, and then you don't even allow him to think about shooting. Hazelwood Wood against Birchin. Birchin has had such an influential role in the game so far for Barry Town. 37 years of age, he's played under some of the best managers in the game, Bobby Robson, Alf Ramsey, but he says he's still learning at the age of 37, and really, he's been a thorn in the side of Cardiff City so far this afternoon. Kevin Brock straight at Ashley Griffiths though. And Wayne Faraday tries to get things going again for Cardiff City. And really, Cardiff error ridden at the moment. They've obviously had the stuffing knocked out of them by that Barry goal. And they're not really functioning. Foul by Stant on Boyle. a titanic battle between Stanton and Boyle and Boyle will point to the scoreboard and say I'm winning it because Barry Town are winning the game final minute of the first half for Cardiff and there's a certain amount of tension now in the Cardiff City play well they've, they've had a lot of possession and they haven't really produced any quality at the end of it they're well organized they've got to get a goal for it to happen will it come here from Richardson straight at the goalkeeper who can't hold it it's hit the post in there what a scramble the ball certainly struck the post Richardson's shot was straight at Morris but it was hit fiercely and the goalkeeper there couldn't hold it Stant was in there the predator supreme but he couldn't force it over the line with the woodwork intervening there well it went through the goalkeeper's legs on the first one I mean it's all, all hell let loose and it's come back into his arms and that's a little bit of luck sometimes you need that little bit of luck and they're winning 1-0 to prove it certainly not going Cardiff City's way Richardson though through the centre for them it runs away from him as he tangles with Terry Boyle he's the last one you want to tangle with is Terry Boyle situation we have at half time David Doria's goal has given Barry Town the lead they can dream of Europe and Cardiff City the cup holders have an awful lot to do they've had their opportunities notably for Thompson and Stant but it's Barry Town who've shown the composure in front of goal and they lead and you can't begrudge them it I think actually that this Barry Town that they've got it's a huge uphill task uh, to go another 45 minutes to, to hold Cardiff City but equally Cardiff City have got an awful lot to do to improve uh, they're going through the motions a little bit they're getting into good positions but then their touch is not good enough and they're not really doing 
uh, what they've been doing the, the best when I've seen them against Swansea when they've been surging in and the crowd are behind them they finish up with good quality balls in to Stant and when the good quality balls comes in he will he'll do the business but at the moment they he hasn't had that he's been snatching it the odd thing not good enough it had to be a lot better second half time yes beware the half-time tongue of Eddie May